Hey, this is John Hampton. Uh, just let you know that what you're about to see is video from UAH Weatherfest 2023. Uh, this is video of uh, James Spann. Uh, it's a presentation he was making about sources to get weather information. Due to technical issues with our equipment, we were unable to cover the entire speech, but what excerpt we was able to get before our camera equipment uh, malfunctioned is presented to you at this time. Enjoy and have a great day. Because those that know me, I have a name for most of those apps. What's that name? Crap apps. Thanks for playing. Yeah. Um, now, I, I, by the way, this is my phone. I, this is a screenshot this morning, if you want to know what's on my phone. Uh, now, and let me just say this. Some people come on our show, Weather Brains, and they're promoting apps or they develop apps, and uh, they want me to try it. For example, that Weather AR, uh, that's a guest from Weather Brains. Uh, Weather Aware, I think that's a guest from Weather Brains. But anyway, Aero Weather, that's a, an app that is really good for METARs, for surface observations. And quite frankly, I don't use apps that much. But anyway, if you want to see what's on my phone in the weather category, that's it. But back to this uh, interview. I didn't know the name was going to be ugly. I mean, I, I didn't know they were going to call it that. But uh, it's, it's, it's a... <laughs> I had a children's ministry, and I probably would not have agreed to do that if I knew that was the name of the uh, article there. But uh, in, anyway, it was a long piece about these, and, and listen, they're great on routine days, they're fine. There's hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands, of these things. Uh, but the reason that they get you in trouble and lead you down a wrong path, most all of these are automated. They use raw model output without any human intervention, and they can get you in trouble on high-impact weather days, snow, ice, tornadoes, and things like that. Uh, just say these are the ones I would recommend uh, a local TV station app and they're all the same really and truly they come from either Barron or, or uh, weather company but uh, just pick one from your local favorite TV station that way you probably can watch the live coverage um, and, and I'm a radar scope guy somebody there's other radar programs radar Omega, some of these other ones but I know the developer of Radar Scope, his name is Mike Wolfenbart for France. And listen, I get no money from this, okay? Uh, I get absolutely no money from promoting anybody's app. I'm just making a suggestion that if you want a really, really good single site radar app, Radar Scope is pretty amazing. If you tell me one day I would have that in my pocket, every single product off the single site next radar, new polarization product. It's amazing what that does.